Hello everyone. I've got a kind of cool story to tell you about. Um, happened to my sister. And this was years ago and probably probably close to thirty years now. Back when I was a real drinker and her as well. Um one night, you know, every now and then we she it was my older sister, so she kinda led me um into trouble usually. <laughs> Um, she was she was one for finding trouble, but she was she was also very lucky. Um, what what she had in luck I lacked. Um, we were like the polar opposites when it came to luck, if if you actually believe that sort of thing. And if if you were to witness what I'm about to tell you, um, I don't know if it's luck or, or what to call it, but it was it was amazing. Okay, to set the situation up, we were sitting in a bar, you know. Drinking, probably heavily. I'm sure we both were quite buzzed, if not on our well on our way to being actually drunk. And we, I don't know how we met them or got associated with them. It was a pair of guys, and they were really nice. And they uh, turned out to be somewhat of campers. And um, what they wanted to do was sit a stack of quarters in the middle of the table and bet a dollar on what the next one would be, heads or tails. When you pull the top one off, what's the next one going to be, heads or tails? Simple enough. I mean, you know, you got a 50-50 chance. I mean, you know, you could, you, could, you could win money on that, I suppose. Better than Las Vegas, I'm sure. Um, so we begin... I don't know how many quarters they had in that stack. 25, maybe 30. It was quite a few. And my sister's the one calling heads or tails. And she calls the first one, gets it right, second, third, fourth. And she gets fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and she's still getting them right every time. And these guys are going, this is crazy. And they're betting more and more money because they know she's going to get it wrong next time. I mean, they know eventually she's got to get it wrong. I mean, I mean, you just can't do that. And they went through that whole stack of quarters. Restacked it. Did it again. Betting a dollar each time. We went through that stack of quarters again. She still didn't miss. We're talking probably 50 times now. She's called it right. 50 times. And I remember, I remember we were just... We were, we, were, we were getting amazed at, at, at this run. And um, I was afraid that she would jinx herself or something, you know, and cause it to end. And I, I just I, I said the only thing I could think of to say at the time was, don't think about it. Just say whatever comes into your mind first just and blurt it out. Don't, don't think about it. Just, just say it. And I don't know if she took my advice or not. It seemed like she did, but... Doesn't matter. She still got them right every single time. I, I mean, she ended up having to buy the guys a pitcher of beer because they they spent every penny they had trying to get their money back, and it never happened. She never missed. We went that stack of quarters three times, and if there was twenty five in that stack, at least that's that's seventy five tries in a row without being wrong. Explain that. That's. That's amazing. So what do you think?